So before I show today's video, I need to say two things. One, we recorded several things on the same day, um, so we're gonna be wearing the same clothes in several videos. <laughs> you already saw one of them, uh, but for the next two videos, I think, uh, those were all recorded on the same day. And two, the video that I'm gonna show right now actually takes place immediately following the last video that we showed, where we opened so many gifts from, from you guys. So. Thank you for that again. We had a great time opening all those presents. We had just opened a ton of stuff and we were overwhelmed, honestly, from, from your generosity. So thanks again for doing that. And uh, here's the video for today. Okay, Raylan. What is that? Genetics would like the dip of her cheek saliva. Oh, I think. <laughs> Here is your FedEx bag to send it back. I feel like we did do this. We just recently did this. So I don't know why they want another sample so soon. But this is like the genetics testing that Raylan does from time to time. Biohazard. So they can run her DNA, run a new sample, In I guess. In this package, you will find a buccal cheek swab kit for Raylan. Buccal means cheek. I did not learn that in A&P, but it's right here. <laughs> a clear biohazard bag with absorbent material prepaid FedEx envelope. Swab both sides of your cheek approximately 10 times, avoiding the tongue. Carefully twist collection applicator off and place in solution, twisting to seal. Rock sample back and forth 10 times. Place in clear biohazard bag and seal. Place biohazard bag in prepaid FedEx envelope drop-off package at FedEx store or Dropbox. If you have any questions, call these people. The purpose of this study, create a resource that uses results of full exome sequencing data, which looks at the protein coding genes in your genetic makeup for discovery of new contributors to genetic basis of human disease. We plan to build a database that contains a description of the clinical observable features of your health information. In Inofmeration. They did not spell check this. Look at how they spelled that word. Inof. Ration. Even doctors make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Along with your exome sequencing data, the patient's database will allow future approved investigators to access, search, and reanalyze all the data to learn more about genetic abnormalities. They want to know pictures of your dysmorphic features. Mm, I think like maybe like her her hands are kind of tapered fingers. Genetics noted that once they might take a picture of her fingers. Although they don't look as tapered as they did when she was little. But see how her fingers. Yeah. When she was little, they almost looked like little triangle shapes. They still do a little bit, but there was a lot more pronounced when she was little. So they would take pictures of stuff like that to see if it's related. Annual follow-up. They want to know every year how you're doing. Share your information with other people. Approximately 9,000 people are taking part in the study. If you agree to take part in the study, your initial involvement will last about 60 minutes. Follow-up interview may take place annually. They will contact you annually until you become 18. So maybe it was last year about this time that we did it last was it really that long i don't know if it was <laughs> will i be paid for participating you will not be paid for being in this research study no money for you raylan no one on the research team will receive a direct payment or increase in salary raylan this helps people yeah it's good raylan it's good for them to have all your information this helps them to learn why you are you and then that'll help other people who are like you you're helping people okay so we just swab this, try to avoid her tongue 10 times on both sides. Yep. And then we put it in here, right? Yep. Okay, wait a We're supposed to try to avoid your tongue, all right, which is hard to do, but. Can we get your other cheek? I know. Well, we got your teeth a little. Ew, saw slime drop from that. <laughs> is that all there is to it? Then you do that. It doesn't seem very well marked. I'm sure it'll be fine. You can ask for more stuff if they want more stuff. Or maybe they sent this to us because we did it wrong the first time. <laughs> okay, we just send that in. We just um, drop it off at FedEx somewhere. So you might have seen our recent video where we talked about like Raylan's uh, genetic condition and how that could or could not play a part of who she is. Because Raylan's so unique, they just kind of want to follow up with that from time to time, retest her uh, DNA. <laughs> so that's what this is all about. They think she's awesome and they want to monitor that and uh, see how she can help other people through her genes. Just got to take some saliva out of her mouth from time to time and send that in. And it kind of reminds me that like, even if you think you have nothing to contribute in the world, uh, some people would look at Raylan and say that she can't really contribute anything. Actually, she's teaching people. She's teaching people just by being herself. She's providing jobs to people like nurses. <laughs> she provides, she can think of all the doctors that are 
uh, that smarter have jobs. Because of her. Yeah, and and are smarter because of her. Like she's contributing to the world just by being herself. And uh, I I want I want to encourage you to if you think you don't really have anything to contribute to the world, you are. You do just by being you. You're contributing to the world. Um, I want you to know that you can have joy and you can provide joy to other people, uh, no matter what's going on in your life. So God bless you guys. Hope you have a great day. Good job, Raylan. Good job. She has glitter all over.